In this video, we'll go over the steps for creating a master detail grid with grouping and summaries. First, we'll set up the project. Then we'll add the grid with grouping. After that, we'll create the master detail layout. And finally, we'll go over formatting and summaries. Start by creating a new project and selecting the DevExtreme ASP.NET Core application template. Give it a name and click Next. Here we'll select the look and feel. I'll choose Material. Before we insert a DevExtreme grid, we first need to configure the app to use Entity Framework. Let's open the Package Manager console and include Microsoft's Entity Framework Core SQL Server package. While with .NET Framework, there's a wizard which will scaffold the model and DB context classes from an existing database. With .NET Core, this is done by using the Package Manager console. For this, we need to install Microsoft's Entity Framework Core Tools package. Once the package has been added, we can use the scaffold DB context command. Note that I specify the output DIR parameter, which makes sure the model and DB context classes are created in a subfolder EF of the models folder. Once the scaffolder completes, I'll remove this method in the DB context and add a connection string in the app settings.json. Let's build the project to make sure that everything is available. Now I just need to add the following lines of code in the configure services method of the startup class so we can use dependency injection in our controllers to obtain a DB context. Now open the pages slash index.cshtml file and remove the sample grid that was added by the project template. Right click and select Insert DevExtreme Control here. When the wizard pops up, select Data Grid on the first tab and click Next. On the second page, I'll select the DevAV DB context, which was scaffolded by the EF tools. I'll select Orders at the Model dropdown. And I'll create a new Web API controller, Orders Controller. On the last page, I'll select a couple of columns to be displayed in the data grid. For this tutorial, I'll leave the CRUD operations checkboxes as they are and hit Add. Now the Web API controller has been scaffolded in the Controllers folder, and in the index.cshtml, the grid configuration has been inserted. Before we run the application, let's enable the pager with configurable page sizes by adding the following two settings. If we now run the application, you'll see that we have a data grid on our page with data being displayed from the DevAV database. Let's enable grouping by going back to index.cshtml in Visual Studio, and let's add the following configuration methods. When I run the application, you'll see the group panel appear above the grid, and we can drag columns into the group panel. Now let's create a master detail display that has an expandable subgrid under each order, which holds the order items. I'll add the following settings in code. Next, put the cursor right after this portion of the code. Right-click and select Insert DevExtreme Control here, as we did before. On the first tab, I'll select Data Grid. On the second tab, I'll select DevAV DB Context as Database Context, Order Items as Model Class, and I'll hit the Add button to create a new Order Items controller. On the last tab, I'll select some of the columns and leave the checkboxes for CRUD operations unchecked, and hit Add. After the wizard is completed, we'll see the configuration of the detail grid perfectly rendered in the detail template of the orders grid. There are two things we need to change. First, after the load action of the order items grid, we need to specify load parameters. We only want to display the items belonging to that specific order. This is done by adding the following code. This load params will feed the order ID of the current node into the load method of the detail grid. 
The second thing we need to do is change the order items controller dot get methods signature. We need to capture the order ID in this method to restrict the query being executed. Next, we can use the where extension method to perform a server side filter on the order items query. If we run the app now, users are able to expand the order's rows and have the order items as a detail grid underneath its parent. The order item total column shows currency data. Let's apply a formatting rule so it's being displayed as currency amounts as well. This is done by going back to the index.cshtml and locating the column configuration of the order items detail grid. Add the following code. It would also be nice to be able to display the total number of order items as well as the total order amount in the footer of the detail grid. So let's add the following code to enable the footer row. Now when I run the application and expand one of the master rows, we see that the order item total column displays currency formatted date and we see that there is a footer row, including a correctly formatted total on order item product units column, as well as the order item total column. And that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed this overview on the DevExtreme grid for MVC and ASP.NET Core. To learn more, make sure to check out our other videos or read our documentation. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you have questions, please comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified when we release new content. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.